Hey guys. Hey, it's Mr. Lindy here. And um, today we're going to talk about patterns. Patterns with decimals. So they, so they have decimals in them. And then I'm going to throw in a nice little challenge for you at the end. But uh, this basically means they're going to give us a list of numbers and we're going to have to find the rule. That's basically what you have to do. They may stack two on top, but we're just going to do one list right now. And we're going to talk about how to find it. So if you look at this list, what I what I say to do is you need to at least get the first three numbers done and see what the difference is. So if you see that we have 4.15, 3.65, 3.15, let's start with the 4.15. And then we're going to subtract the 3.65. Zero. Borrow. Make that an 11. And so I know from here to here it goes 0 0.50. So then also to check this, I have to do the next one, 3.65 minus 3.15. And that's 0, and that's 5. So from there to there and there to there, it's 0.5. So basically that tells us that you're adding 0.5 from here to the next one and then here to the next one. So now all we have to do is take 4.15 and add 0.5, So there's the next one. And then you take that number and you add 0.5. And without even adding the next one, if you look, there's a little bit of a pattern that says, it says 0 0.15, 0 0.65, 0 0.15, 0 0.65, 0 0.15. So I would go out on a limb and say that it's 5.65. But we can check it anyway. So we'll go 5.15 plus 0.5. And there it is. Yep. So there, and I just completed the pattern. I just gave them the next ones. Okay. So now let's go to the next one. You look at it and you go, oh, man, I don't know. Like I said, all you do is you start with this number right here. Let's start with here. Go 2.16. And you subtract the one before it. And you have, well, that's 16. That becomes a 7. Looks like 0.37 from here to here. So then now let's go 1.79 minus 1.42. So 3, 0.37. And now I know that a lot of you are going to go, I know the rule, but let's just do it anyway just to make sure. 1.42 minus 1.05. Borrow. 3, 7, 3 minus 0 is 3. There you go. 0 0.37 again. So yes, there that is our rule. It looks like it's going all the way up. We're adding 0.37. So let's let's get these next numbers. 2.16 plus 0.37. 2.53. And then we're going to take 2.53 and add 0.37. As you guys notice, once you find a rule, it's not bad. It's just adding or if you have to subtract sometime, then it might be subtraction, but it's not too bad. It's just adding what you see. And then we go 2.90 plus 0.37 for one more. And we have 3.27. And there is your answer there. So that's not bad. And then we run into this one, and you look at it, and the numbers are getting smaller as we go to the right. So all I do is I start on the left when I do that. Start with this one right here, and I go 6.75. And now I'm going to subtract the 5.50, and I want to see what we get here. 1.25 from here to here. Subtract 1.25. And now I'm going to go from here to here. Let's, let's check it out. 5.50 minus... 4.25. Tomorrow. 5, 2. That's 1.25 also. 1.25. So now all we look at is that we are subtracting 1.25 from all these. So let's go 
4.25, subtract 1.25, 0, 0, so this one's 3. Then we'll go 3.0 minus 1.25. Can't do it, can't do it. We're going to have to borrow here. Make this a 10, make this a 9, make this a 10. Okay, 5, 7, 1.75. And then we're almost done. We have one more, 1.75, subtract 1.25, 0, 5, and it is 0 0.5. Now, if they kept going, if we had that, it would end up getting into the negatives, and that's okay, but I didn't, that's where I ended it. And then it would say, okay, you have the numbers, tell me the rule, it's subtract 1.25, okay? And then a fun one to try. So... This one has a very special name to it, and I'd like you to give this a try. I'm going to go over the answers with you in class. I'm just going to leave this up here, take a look at it, see what happens. It has a very special name. It's a very uh, powerful pattern in math. So take a look at it. I might even put it up as half of our problem of the day, see if you guys can get it. Okay, guys, good luck. Have a good one.